Now let's talk about the sign rule. So remember our convention, capital letter means the angle and the small letter is the sides of the triangle. It doesn't have to be so, but we are going to use this, your textbook uses, so it will be easy. So for example, you have a triangle. It doesn't have to be a right angle triangle, any triangle. And you have three sides. So angle A, angle C here, and angle B here. So by convention, this side, let's call it small a, this is B and this side is C. So you can see that the capital letter is the angle and the small letter is the side. And the opposite side to the angle, we are going to use the same symbol. So this is small a and this is big A. So the important thing is to remember how to apply the sine rule. So it is really quite simple. It's a proportion kind of thing. Sine of A over A is equals to sine of B over B, or it is also equals to sine of C over C. So of course the reciprocal holds true. And A over sine A is also equals to B over sine B and C over sine C. If you are given a triangle with three sides, of course, and the angle here is 67.6 degrees, over here it's 45.5 degrees, and the length here is 7.6 cm. So this is A, B, and C. So say you are asked to find the length BC. So BC over the sine of the angle that is opposite, 67.6 degrees, would be equal to any other ratio of the side and the opposite angle. So what do we have? We have 7.6 which is side AB, we are going to make use of it. So 7.6 over sine of angle C. Now you don't have angle C, but it's okay because you know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is up to 180. So you can always use that property to find out. 180 minus 67.6 minus 45.5 will give you 66.9. So you have this equation, and it is really a simple method to find BC. So now BC would be equals to, just multiply this over to the other side, sine. 67.6 degrees multiplied by 7.6 over sine of 66.9 degrees and your answer will be 7.64 cm. So say you have a triangle. Now let's say I want to find out this. This is a right angle. And we have two right angle triangles. So using trigonometry, we know that angle A, or rather sine of angle A is the opposite over hypotenuse. And in this case, hypotenuse is C. So it's equals to O over C. So the length of O is equals to C sine angle A. Now, but you can find O using the other, the other triangle. It's similar. So sine of angle C would be equals to opposite this over the longest side which is A. So if we were to make O the subject of the formula, O would be equals to A sine angle C. So since this O and this O is the same side, you have C sine angle A is equals to a sine angle C. So if we rearrange this, you will have sine angle A divided by A is equals to sine C over C. And if this is true, then the reciprocal will be true. Because you can always cross multiply and, and once you cross multiply, you will have A over sine capital A equals to C over sine C.